Welcome to day four. Today again is your recovery day or in our gym at Black Sheep as we have to say it's your regeneration day. We're re-getting back into the swing of things and making ourselves feel better from the inside out. So the first thing we're doing is we're doing jumping jacks. So one minute on, one minute off, times five. So basic jumping jack, up and down, pop the feet, one minute on, one minute off. Set your timer because your minute and our minute are two different things. When you're working, it usually takes 10 seconds. In reality, 60 seconds feels like an hour when we're working out. One minute on, one minute off, five times, and rest. Our next exercise is dead hang. Now again, this time we're gonna go knuckles forward. So what this does is it rotates the scap and opens up. If you see my hands like this versus this, I now have more pressure and more expansion in the middle of my back. So we're gonna go two minutes total. I don't care if you have to do this in 10 second increments. We're gonna relax and hold. If you guys take time to do this, you will thank me. It will decompress your back, but it's only one of the things when you hang, your mind cannot go anywhere else. So we're keeping that singularity focus, training that mental resiliency and learning to relax. Rest. Our next exercise is an elevated glute bridge hold. So we've already done it, but now our back is gonna be on the bench and we're gonna hold a double leg glute bridge. The most important thing about a glute bridge is most people get extension with their lower back and not their glutes. So if I'm humping forward, I'm all in my lower back right now. If I'm tucking my pelvis under myself, I'm actually contracting the full glute. So you'll see her go down. And when she hinges, she's tucking her pelvis under herself and squeezing her butt, not her back. So her back's actually loose right now. So we're gonna go up and we're gonna hold for one minute. Squeeze, squeeze and hold. Push the ground down with your heels. Squeeze your butt as hard as you can. We're gonna go for one minute. Continue to breathe and create space in your diaphragm and lower back. Our last treadmill exercise of the week. We're gonna do this eight times through. We're gonna shorten our rest time, which is gonna be a lot harder on our nervous system. So we should be getting into anaerobic or lack of oxygen. So it's gonna be a lot harder. You're gonna sweat. If you feel nauseous, slow it down and walk. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go again. We're going 10 seconds on, 30 seconds off, eight times. So I'm gonna to try to push this closer to eight to nine to 10 miles an hour for myself. This could be three to four miles an hour for you. It's a nice, smooth pace. So this is at 10.7. I'll be nice and smooth, test out the treadmill, and roll. And that is all. Our next is our hip circles. So again, a hip circle is nothing but a movement. We're moving the hip internally and externally and learning how to actually balance. Proprioception is the body's spatial awareness. So what you're doing when you move, if you see your foot, it's gonna move a million repetitions in a couple seconds. So teaching the body in space how to move and think about movement without actually putting stress on the body is gonna make you feel better. Here we go, 30 each way. So 30 clockwise, 30 counterclockwise. Taking your time, driving this glute to the ground and keeping very, very tall in our chest and rest. Our last movement of the day, our isometric is our top push up. We've already done it. We're gonna go down again. We're gonna work the middle of the back. These two week phase are gonna be very, very hard in the middle of the back and we're trying to really isolate this. So if you have someone here pushing She's gonna have to push through my hand. As you can see, that's very rough. If not, she's rounding that back like a cat and pushing through. Your belly button should cramp because you're pulling your abs down towards here and it's a full workout. Rest. We're holding that for one minute total. 